Hello friends, welcome to the ComSol tutorial presented by me, Shishendu Mitro, research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Gohat. So in this video, I am going to tell you how to do dimensionless equation solution in ComSol multiphysics. So before going into details of this, let us know how to make equations dimensionless. So I take one example. Yeah, so say we are modeling a fluid flow problem. So basic equations that governs fluid flow are these momentum equations and this continuity equation along with the necessary boundary conditions. Uh, for the time being, the boundary conditions which we will be taking are at x equal to 0. That means at the inlet of the pipe we keep certain pressure say p inside p in and at the outlet you also keep certain pressure p equal to p external okay that means we are using Dirichlet boundary condition at both the ends we are keep we are keeping pressure constant now those are the equations as i told earlier these parameters are we are using to make the equation dimensionless so here you can see uh, the dimensionless x that is a coordinate system uh, co independent variables x comma y comma z that represented by x i that is uh, that is uh, being that is uh, that is done dimensionless by this parameter x i by d and for time we uh, capital T means dimensionless time we make it dimensionless by this particular uh, formula uh, so the parameter which is doing t dimensionless is d square rho by mu similarly p we are making dimensionless by mu square by rho d square and this is the velocity components and we are making it dimensionless by mm, mu by rho d so those uh, formula if we key, if we put in these equations then we get the dimensionless form of equations and uh, after making the equations dimensionless we get this equation so you can see the only difference between these two equations uh, uh, in this case you have certain parameters associated with the associated with the uh, equation and here after making the equation dimensionless you don't have any parameters or physical parameters so same thing happens uh, this is x dimensional momentum equation this is y dimensional momentum equation so we don't have any parameters after making the equation dimensionless so that uh, that you have to uh, keep in your mind uh, when we'll be doing equations dimensionless console so this very concept will be helpful uh, that particular concept is the only difference between the dimensional and non-dimensional equations are the parameters now what uh, we ki we take during our simulation we take this as our parameters mu means uh, your viscosity coefficients we take it 0 0.01 si unit kg per meter second rho that is the density of the liquid we took 1000 kg per meter cube uh, because the fluid is water d that is the diameter of the channel we took 0 0.01 meter P inlet we kept as 50 Pascal that is the SI unit and uh, we uh, develop the relation between dimensional and non-dimensional uh, dependent variables because as I show as I shown you earlier we are making pressure dimensionless by mu square by rho d square uh, time by this one and velocity by this one so after putting all this the relation between dimensional and non-dimensional whichever we are getting are p dimensionless equal to 1000 into p dimensional t dimensionless equal to 0.1 into t dimensional and u dimensionless equal to 1000 into u dimensional so now we are going to console so this is the dimensional one i have already done it so i'll tell you this is a very simple thing now but now you know how to develop model in console uh, so this is a simple pipe flow i have taken laminar flow as you can see here 
So fluid properties are rho is thousand and mu is zero point zero one as I told in the word file. And this is the inlet. You can see here it is inlet. Inlet I have given five pascal of pressure, and at outlet I have given zero pascal. That and this pressure is in gauge pressure. Zero means your atmospheric pressure. And we are solving it. Uh, this is unsteady. This is an unsteady state problem. We are solving it for one second, having a uh, time step of 0.1 second. So up to from zero to one seven or uh, one second. And uh, yeah, after simulating, uh, we are getting a velocity profile like this. So you can see here the velocity is varying from zero to 3.5, 9 to 10 to the power minus two meter per second. You can see here the dimension is meter per second. So the same thing we will be making in non-dimensional case or dimensionless situation. So what we basically did here, so <coughs> inlet we took 5 E3 that means 5000 pressure has been taken and it has no unit because we have made the equation dimensionless. Now to make equation dimensionless the first thing we have to do is you go to this dimensionless uh, this here uh, as I named it as dimensionless pre that means pressure that's why it is showing is it uh, whatever name you give it will be shown here and after going there I'll show you from this dimension from the setting window if you come here you can change the unit system so you have several options out of that I have taken none whenever you are doing it none it would automatically delete all the units and it will not ask for any unit uh, unit of any parameters you take for the simulation then uh, simple thing we did at inlet uh, I took uh, pressure 5 pascal for the dimensional one but here uh, what I am doing I am doing uh, I am I'm keeping it as 5000 why because I have shown you earlier the relation between pressure uh, dimensionless and dimensional pressure is this so <coughs> dimensionless pressure is thousand times of that of dimensional one that is why I have taken 5000 instead of in place of 5 pascal similarly at outlet I kept it zero because it was zero in the dimensional one also and as I told you, I solved it uh, for uh, 0 to 1 second in case of dimensional. So here also we have to solve it for 0 to 1 second. But as the things are now dimensionless, so uh, 1 second means dimensional 1 second means 0 0.1 second as I shown in this relation. So you can see here t dimensionless is equal to 0 0.1 of t dimensional. So it will be ta uh, it has to be divided by 10 so that is what I did here uh, it was 0 to 1 in case of dimensional here it is 0 to 0, 0 to 0 0.1 and with a time step of 0 0.01 so all other things what I did uh, one more thing you have to understand if you go to fluid properties you can see I have taken rho as 1 mu as 1 why why I am doing so because I have already told you when you make the equation dimensionless there are there are no physical parameters so <coughs> but in COMSOL if you go to the equation which the COMSOL is solving you can see one row term is there or new term is there okay so we are just making it one if we make it one then automatically it will take the form of this very equations that means those dimensionless equations. So by this way we can make equations dimensionless in COMSOL and after simulating if we compare the result I will show you I have already simulated you can see here this is coming from 0 to 35 and for dimensionless one uh, so, sorry for the dimensional one it was coming from 0 to 3.5 and uh, the thing is I uh, will show you here the relation between u dimensional and u dimensionless was there was a thousand factor that means dimensionless velocity will be thousand times than that of the dimensional one the same thing is coming here you can see here dimensional velocity is 
3.5 into 10 to the power minus 2, that means 35 into 10 to the power minus 3. And in dimension less, it is coming exactly 1000 times than the 1000 times of that dimensional one. So, uh, the same results you are getting. So, the point is you can make equations dimensionless using console multiphysics. The main thing, the main logic behind is you have to exploit the yeah, exploit the parameters, physical parameters and you have to change the physical parameters accordingly as I did here. I made the parameters 1 and then changed the inlet and outlet condition as per the relationships obtained from the from your dimensionless equations and thereby I, uh, I just uh, made all the equations dimensionless and I am getting a solution same as dimensional 1. So thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please write me on this mail id, I will be happy to help you